when it comes to your booking requests. Yeah. Strangest booking request you've received so far. Uh, I think I had a company that sold uh, these uh, like little like, it looked like a little tiny bath bomb, but it was for women and they put it in their pussy and it's supposed to make it all fresh and stuff like that. Like it dissolves in their pussy. Like, so I thought that was like a pretty like weird uh, product to hack, uh, to try and make a skit out of. Uh, they didn't end up following up, I didn't follow, but I thought I, w I would have loved to do that skit. That would have been freaking amazing doing one for, for the pussy cleaner or whatever the hell they, I don't even know what it was called, but it was, oh, and then another one where it was like, it was like a device that women put on their junk to stand up to pee, like so they could stand, like pee standing up. Like I was like, this has got to be a joke. This, someone's trolling me right now. This can't be real. Now, when it comes to your bookings, yeah. the most amount of money you've been offered for something mm -hmm. that you've turned down. Uh, I don't think I've turned down anything. I mean, because I set my prices fairly high compared to other influencers. That's a big problem that we have in the social media world. Is that a lot of content creators don't come from TV and film like I do. So they don't understand the pricing and how much they, these companies save by coming to us. So the, there's a real problem in our industry of people undercharging. For me, I charge for original piece of content. I usually charge anywhere from between $2,500 to $5,000. Like, and that's for just one 60 second skit. But that's because I'm bringing us a, a real presence. Obviously I'm giving my endorsement, I'm verified, and I really know how to make a really good piece of like branded content where someone watches it and they don't realize till the very end that they just watched the commercial. Um, so yeah, so I, there hasn't been any offers yet as far as like, oh, I would not do that morally, like, you know, nothing like that. Uh, you know, the ba as long as they come with the right bag, uh, that, that's, we can make something work, you know. Now, when it comes to opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. And just thinking back in your life, mm -hmm. what's the biggest opportunity you've received and passed on for whatever reason? Hmm. And this doesn't have to do with just bookings requests, but just when it comes to your <sighs> acting, right. when it comes to roles, when it comes to oh, whatever you may have. Uh, recently, my, a friend of mine who's a porn star, a pretty well-known porn star, uh, she asked if I would be in this uh, Brazzers film, like, you know, as my cop character, not fucking the girls, but just like, coming as my cop character, and then like she fucks the other girl or whatever like that. And I was like, you know, as much as I really want to do this, like, cause you know, we're all scumbags at heart. Like, you know, I want like the perv in me wanted to do it. I was like, I might want to do some Disney shit later on in my career. So like, I think I got to say no to this one I, I, as much as I like, you know, but I, I'll work with, we'll do skits together, but I can't like officially be in like, a bra as much as I support browsers, I shout out to browsers, you know, maybe I'll give me a, free premium membership now that I started you out in DJ Small Eyes interview. Uh, but yeah, that was something I had to turn down. I just said, no, I, I can't do that. You know? Would that be listed on your IMDb? I, I think so. They do. I think they do IMDb credit uh, porn uh, actors and stuff, you know. Do you regret uh, missing that credit on there? Uh, I, I think I'll, 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 I'll move on. I think I'll, I'll get through it, you know. I, I have fun shooting other content with the porn star girls, uh, you know. I find my own way. Do you think, okay, do you think that would have any effect on a, a possible Disney situation? Like, let's just say you're not officially in a, a, a porn mm. flick, but right. you do work with porn actresses. Yeah. In yeah. your skits? Or? Yeah. I mean, in my, at the end of the day, like, there's always room to clean up. I mean, I think uh, I, right now I'm making a good little living in sort of vice culture, I'd say. So, you know, because I also am part of a cannabis brand as well. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of money to be made in this sector, but I look at certain people, like look at someone like, uh, like Little Yachty, for example, like he raps about all types of wild shit, does, but then you'll know, get something from Target or you know, a mainstream brand deal. So it's really all about the optics and how you have a good representation. Like I'm at the point in my career right now where I need to really start building a team around myself because I've been doing everything on my own. So I, like once my bag gets a little bigger, I'll be able to hire a full-time publicist, you know, uh, wrote, you know, all the sort of things you need to really, uh, get those bigger mainstream Disney type deals, you know?